All right, it's time for Penn State picks and predictions. Is Greg Pickle thinking upset this week? We're welcome back to the Penn State Blitz podcast for the fan base, Greg Pickle. I'm Bob Flanders. Greg Pickle is, a, is across from me, in case you did not know that. Um, for the fan base, I know this is their favorite part of the week, where we get to make a Penn State pick. Mm-hmm. They get to make fun of us when we're wrong, and it's more often than not. Yes. And they're playing Rutgers. It's, it's not supposed to be a particularly competitive game, but I'm going to put you on the spot. Are you thinking upset here? No. Okay. No. I am is that not. a hard no? It is a very okay. hard no. Um, in fact, I would really like to know how much the Big Ten would find Rutgers if they just forfeited this game. That's how <laughs> disinterested I think the Scarlet Knights will be in this one. They're 2-9. and nine. They have shown next to nothing on either side of the ball for most of the season. Um, I know they covered a couple of games, so I guess there's something to be said about that. They beat UMass in the opener. Did you have a piece of that? I believe I had UMass in that game. Uh, if we go all the way back to the <laughs> tape in August. <laughs> Time will well, I'm pausing for just that reason. Yeah, thank I think you. Yes. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not our finest. Anyway, hour. the line's going to probably be at 40. Yeah. At kickoff, does the to- the total? I it's like 52 or something. Yeah. yeah. Is there? I mean, let's let's hear your pick. Do you have a bold prediction? It it, it feels like a game where we're going to see some players we don't typically see for long stretches, and I think if you're a fan. That's probably what you're looking you're looking for. Yeah, um, I would like to see a couple of things in this game. I'd like to see again some of those younger players. Maybe like Adisa Isaac gets a little bit more run than normal. Maybe uh, you know you get those young receivers out there and see what they can do. Um, we haven't seen a whole lot of Noah Kane the last few weeks. Maybe no. you get his feet wet some in this game. So I mean, overall, you're going to be able to do whatever you want, whether it's Will Levis or Sean Clifford starting a quarterback for Penn State. To me, Bob. I think the defense plays, um, you know, what a, plays a very good game on paper and on the field, if you know what I mean. I don't see Rutgers having a lot of success. I would think the word mollywop comes to mind. Uh, it's 55 nothing Penn State over Rutgers. Predicting the shutouts usually not the wise thing to do. I just don't see this team on senior day at home giving up any points to this Rutgers side. That comes in extremely undermanned. Molly Wap. That's an interesting word. I don't know quite where you've heard that word before, mm-hmm. but it's very interesting. I learned something new from you uh, almost every week. Did you? Well, I'm sorry. Did you say fifty to nothing? Fifty-five to nothing. Fifty-five to nothing. I, I mean, I, I, I'm thinking along those lines. I said I'm going to say forty-five nothing. I just, I, if you're Rutgers, cold weather on the road. I, I don't know. I just don't know what you could possibly. Penn State would literally have to hand them points. Yeah. And I, I know that that can happen. I just think it's senior day. It's about the seniors. I'm actually hoping Sean Clifford doesn't play. I would, I'd like to see him 100% yep. for the bowl game. And as much as it's the fan base probably wants to see more of Will Levis, I wouldn't mind seeing the two uh, freshmen, Roberson and Johnson, each get a series, get Schuster's series, and you know maybe a running clock. Early in the second quarter, let's okay get out of there that. in like yep. an hour and a half. 12-minute quarters, Bob. But, but really, big picture, a 10-win season, I think, is really what we're talking about before we close this out. And I think I picked them 9-3. and three. I think you either picked them 9-3 and three or 8-4. and four. Uh, Significant win at Iowa. Significant win at home against Michigan. And it's really been a, a very nice season. It didn't all come together the way they wanted it to. But no season really does. Right. I think it's really been their fourth – Double digits, uh, win total, in, or third in three, uh, four years, excuse me. Uh-huh. A lot to like, and they still have kind of, you know, the cherry on top with a really interesting bowl game looming against a good opponent. Opponent, a chance to get to 11 wins, but it all starts with a win over Rutgers. Like, I'm really disappointed you didn't forecast the Rutgers upset since you liked Rutgers so much all this year and lost. I think you've lost it all. I've you've it's lost, been close. You've lost tens of thousands of dollars on the Rutgers <laughs> Scarlet Knights. Uh, before we get out of here, happy holidays to you. I hope you feel better. Is there any other bonus picks you want to give the uh, audience before we go? I love Michigan plus eight this week in the game against Ohio State. I, I just don't. I think that Penn State put some vulnerabilities on tape that Michigan will be able to take advantage of. And I don't know if there's a team playing better than them the last, since the second half of the Penn State game to now, so the middle of October to now. 
I don't know if there's a team, and there's not many teams in college football playing on the level that Michigan is, so I think they cover handily. Other than that, uh, the game I'm most interested in watching is Minnesota-Wisconsin. I think that's just a fascinating matchup for a number of reasons. Two things before we get out of here. No one has come full circle on the Michigan Wolverines more (laughs) than Greg Pickle. I don't want to reference his Wisconsin pick from earlier this year, (laughs) but I just did. And Greg, I almost made it through a whole video (laughs) without mentioning John O'Neill. I knew it was coming. I almost did, but I I couldn't help it. Mm -hmm. If you guys were following along Saturday on social media, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about. I won't go into any specifics. Greg, happy Thanksgiving. Let's get out of Rutgers week with a win. And who who knows who's going to be in the transfer portal next, and who knows who Penn State's going to be playing next.